Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Autumn Afternoon Blog Hop with Honeybee Stamps. And I have three colorful, festive fall projects to share with you using some of these fantastic new Honeybee Stamps products. For my first card, I'm gonna be using this Lovely Layers Maple Leaf honey cuts and I've chose three colors of solid color cardstock for the maple leaf so you've got the outline and the detailed die I'm doing them both out of the same color you could do different colors which I do later on a separate card but today or on this one I'm doing tone on tone okay so I've got fuchsia kind of a green kind of a chartreuse coming at you and then I'm going to adhere these now here's the thing I don't like to over adhere I like to just give it a dabble, do ya? And that way the top can kind of lift off because you know how I like to zhuzh it. And I'll be zhuzhing later, don't you worry. So I'm just gluing these using the Honeybee Stamps glue tube. And I've got that cute little Honeybee glue tube holder. Yes, and then for the background, using these garden lattice cover dies. So you've got the garden lattice base and the garden lattice top. You can use them individually or you can layer them up for more excitement. And I'm doing everything out of white, white on white on white. So it's um, not too distracting, but you get fantastic texture, right? Okay, so gluing this down with the honeybee glue, just a little dab, you don't need too much. And I'll tell you what, you don't want it oozing out the sides because that will chap your khakis okay so once i got the background done i'm just popping up these leaves just kind of cocking them to the left cocking to the right and then now for the sentiment i'm using these new autumn word dies so there's actually three dies i'm just using the two um, the word out of gold foil and the outline out of vellum and then there's an even bigger outline so you could like double outline it for real Shazam. Now for the word die, I cut three more out of white cardstock to stack it up. Cause you really, that gold foil deserves it. You know, you gotta pop it up and then I'll pop this up onto the vellum and then I'll just slap that down onto the card. How's everybody doing today? Uh, is it getting to be fall weather where you are? It is here in Germany. It's cooling off. Today I actually wore a sweater and the leaves are changing. The sun is shining and the air is crisp. And there is some holiday decor in a few of the stores, which I like. I like festive decor, you know, but I'm not ready for the Christmas stuff. I mean, I'm just not ready for Christmas cookies and candies yet. Like you gotta slow your roll. But um, I am ready for fall. So this card is finished while I was blabbing away. And now we're gonna move on to card number two, which is featuring the Hello Fall stamp set. And I'm gonna stamp a bunch of fall leaves using Altenew inks. I love the Altenew inks because there's so many colors to choose from. And what I attempted to do is make each leaf uh, slightly two-toned, you know, like how they look when they're, when they're turning on the tree. And I did a bunch of leaves. Now, you know what I say, and I've been saying it forever, have a leaf, make a wreath. And I mean, I tell you what, I had to refrain from making another wreath, but I said, Laura, if you make a wreath, I'm going to get mad at you. These are the kind of conversations I have with myself. So I had to stretch and try to come up with something different, but I think you'll like it because I love it. And if I love it, you got to love it. We love it together. Okay. So just going through and, um, you know, I, this is what I'll call a fall rainbow where you just stamp all the beautiful, bright, vibrant colors that may or may not be on trees, but in my world they are. So I stamped a bunch and now I'm using the coordinating dies to die cut these out. I mentioned recently that school just started back. I think we're in week two of school going back with the kids. And it's kind of comical because all three of our kids that are in school here are in full German school. And But what's funny is one of the classes during the day is English. And, um, and not to brag or anything, but my kids are acing that class. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. They come home with these stories of different things they're learning in English. And it's so easy for them. But... Uh, my husband was like, oh, we should call the school and see if they could get you into something more challenging. And our kids were like, no, don't, don't do that. We like having a class that's easy because man, the rest of the day, 
These kids, I'll tell you, I don't know how they do it. But you know, math is math. And gym class is gym class, you know, but it just gets a little hairy when you uh, got to read a story and answer questions in German. Okay, while I was blabbing away, I did another gold and vellum sentiment using the new blessed word die. And then I embossed a coordinating sentiment from the blessed stamp set and added a few sparkling clear sequins. And that is card number two. Okay, you get a bonus card today. I don't normally do three cards. today special, but I fell in love with the lovely layers maple leaf dies. Okay, so I did five more. I didn't tape it, but uh, I showed that in the first card. Pop in this panel. This is one of those slim lines, which are so trendy and I love to make them, but I'll tell you, they are a bear to photograph. And then I did another one of those autumn blessings for the sentiment and a few little sparkling uh, sequins to finish her off. And there you have a slim line autumn leaf coming at you. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure and check out the rest of the Honeybee Stamps blog hop and see the fall inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.